In this video, we have given that x squared minus 5 factorial is equal to 2001 and we have to find on pairs of integers x and y. So if we divide 2001 by 3, then we get a remainder 0. So it is equivalent to 0 mod 3 and similarly it is equivalent to 1 mod 4 and 1 mod 5 and if we divide it by 6 then the remainder will be 3 so it is equivalent to 3 mod 6 and if we divide it by 7 then the remainder will be 6 so it is equivalent to 6 mod 7 and now 0 1 are perfect squares and 3 mod 6 is equivalent to 9 mod 6 and 9 is also a perfect square so these are the quadratic residues but 6 is not a quadratic residue of mod 7 if you don't know what is quadratic residue then i will discuss it later in this video so here for y greater than or equal to 7 we have x square minus y factorial is equal to 2001 and it is x square is equal to 2001 plus y factorial and now for y greater than equal to 7 2001 is 6 mod 7 and for y greater than or equal to 7 y factorial will be 0 mod 7 so we get x square is equal to 6 mod 7 and since 6 is not a quadratic residue of mod 7 so this is not possible so we get y is less than 7 and we have x square is equal to 2001 plus y factorial and y is less than 7 so x square can be equal to for y is equal to 1 it will be 2002 for y is equal to 2 we get 2003 4y is equal to 3 we get 2007 and 4y is equal to 4 we get 2025 and 4y is equal to 5 we get 2121 and 4y is equal to 6 we get 2721 and now 2002 is not a perfect square and similarly 2003 and 2007 is not a perfect square and 2025 is equal to 45 a square and 2121 and 2721 is also not a perfect square so we get x square is equal to 2025 or x is equal to plus minus 45 for y is equal to 4 and now we get x and y is equal to 45 and 4 and minus 45 and 4 so these are the two values of x and y and now if we discuss quadratic residue quadratic residue then suppose we have given x square is equal to p mod 5 then the possible value of p is 0 1 2 3 and 4 and now 0 square is equal to 0 and 1 square is equal to 1 and 2 square is equal to 
फोर एंड थ्री स्क्वायर इज नाइन डेट इज इक्वल भैन एंड टू फोर मॉड फाइव एंड फोर स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन डेट इज इक्वल भैन एंड टू वन मॉड फाइव एंड वी डोंट कंसीडर जीरो एज ए क्वाडेटिक रेसिड्यू बिकॉज इट इज ए क्वाडेटिक रेसिड्यू ऑफ एवरी नंबर एंड इट ऑल्सो डोंट फिट विथ द डिफिनेशन ऑफ क्वाडेटिक रेसिड्यू सो द क्वाडेटिक रेसिड्यू ऑफ मॉड फाइव इज वन एंड फोर सो इफ इट इज गिवेन डेट एक्स स्क्वायर इज इक्वेन एंड टू वन मॉड फाइव देन इट इज पॉसिबल बिकॉज वन इज ए क्वाडेटिक रेसिड्यू ऑफ मॉड फाइव एंड इफ इट इज गिवेन डेट एक्स स्क्वायर इज इक्वेन एंड टू थ्री मॉड फाइव देन थ्री इज नॉट ए क्वाडेटिक रेसिड्यू ऑफ मॉड फाइव देन इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल एंड सिमिलरली इफ इट इज गिवेन डेट एक्स स्क्वायर इज इक्वेन एंड टू जीरो मॉड फाइव then it is possible and if we have x square is equal to n and to 4 mod 5 then it is possible and if we have x square is equal to n and to 2 mod 5 then it is not possible because 2 is not a quadratic residue of mod 5 and similarly if we have x square is equal to p mod 6 then the possible value of p is 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 and 0 square is 0 and 1 square is 1 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 4 square is 16 And five square is twenty five, and nine is equal to hundred two three mod six, and sixteen is equal to hundred two four mod six, and twenty five is equal to hundred two one mod six. So the quadratic residue of mod six is one four and three. So If we have given that x square is equal to hundred two three mod six, then it is possible because three is a quadratic residue of mod six. But if it is given that x square is equal to hundred two two mod six, then it is not possible because two is not a quadratic residue of mod six. and we don't need to find every quadratic residue of a number suppose we have given x square is equal to n and to 1 mod 7 and x square is equal to n and to 2 mod 7 and x square is equal to n and to 6 mod 7 and x square is equal to hundred to two mod eight and x square is equal to hundred to three mod eleven and we need to check which is quadratic residue so one is a perfect square so it will be a quadratic residue and for two two is equal to hundred to two plus seven that is nine mod seven And nine is a perfect square, so it will be a quadratic residue. And for six mod seven, six will be equivalent to six plus seven, thirteen. And thirteen is not a perfect square, but we have mod seven, so we need to check it up to six square. So thirteen is equivalent to twenty, and it is equivalent to twenty-seven, and it is equivalent to thirty-four. And the next number will be greater than thirty-six, and before thirty-six, we don't get any perfect square, so it is not a quadratic residue. And here, two is equal to ten mod eight, and it is equal to eighteen, 
and here we need to check up to 7 square so it is equivalent to 26 and it is equivalent to 34 and it is equivalent to 42 and the next number will be 50 that is greater than 49 and before 49 we don't get any perfect square so it is also not a quadratic residue and for 3 more in even 3 is equivalent to 14 and it is equivalent to 25 mod 11 and 25 is a perfect square so 3 is a quadratic residue of mod 11 so it is possible